This evening we have celebrated prayer here in the Ukrainian Cathedral in central London for peace in the Ukraine. And this short service, just half an hour, was broadcast throughout the world as part of a call by the Ukrainian Church and by Pope Francis for people to pray for 24 hours for peace in the Ukraine. So we've been part of a linked prayer, a chain of prayer all around the world. And it's important that we sustain that. And I ask you sincerely to pray for peace in the Ukraine. The situation, as everybody knows, is very delicate, very fragile. There's daily efforts going on, as I gather from the conversations here, to try and ensure that what is a brittle situation does not break out into armed conflict. We heard this evening from the Metropolitan Archbishop, the Ukrainian Archbishop from Philadelphia, who is here in London for a few days, that the prospect of war is a prospect that breaks the very foundation and reality and hopes of our human family, which is made in the image and likeness of God, which is to be one family destined for the peace of heaven. So we pray that what is a very difficult situation does not break out into armed conflict. The invitation to prayer this evening was very movingly based on the martyrs, the Ukrainian martyrs, who were beatified by Pope St. John Paul the second on a visit to the Ukraine. And those martyrs gave their lives for the visible unity of the church. And of course, the unity of the church is a sign and a sacrament of the unity of the human family. And that unity is broken wherever there is warfare. And at the moment, that frontier between Russia and the Ukraine is a place of great danger. And my prayer this evening was especially for the people of the Ukraine who feel now that great armies are massing at their borders. But my prayer was also for those who are involved in negotiations, both directly with Russia and in the negotiations that are taking place between allies in Europe and across the Western world. We pray for each other, no matter which side of these conflicts we're on, because conflict is always a failure. And it's a failure that is deeply destructive. As this country knows, unfortunately, so many places know. And unfortunately, tragically, conflict erupts in many places, even now as we speak. So. The duty to pray for peace is one of the first flowerings of a love of God and an ability to see the world through the eyes of God. As we end uh, this little reflection, I give again the blessing that I gave at the end of the service of prayer. May God, our merciful Father, look with kindness on our broken world in which there is so much conflict. May God, our merciful Father, give wisdom to those who are trying to sustain, protect and build peace through negotiation and diplomacy. And may God bless us all in the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.